here we are again. Lunette is going to be helping us sanctify some of those purifiers today. And we're bringing a very melee-centric composition here. I just feel like rushing in and ripping these Nurgling fools apart in melee. Slaneshi style. <clears throat> I mean, Grey Knight style. But hopefully we have a nice, calm, simple series of fights this time around. We've got an Apothecary, we've got an Aversa Assassin, a Kalidus Assassin, and an Interceptor to escort Lunette through this map. I just figured the ability of Lunette to shut down the enemy guns leaves them extremely vulnerable to me charging in and ripping them to pieces in melee. I also took the opportunity to upgrade my assassins a little bit. These two melee ones. You see the Aversa Assassin... No, not the Aversa. Man, I always get the bloody assassins confused here. The Vindica and the Colexus did so good last game as our ranged assassins that I figured I really need my melee boys to not be left behind. So... Well, I say boys. We've got a Kalidus here, which is clearly not a boy. But yeah, hopefully they're going to be able to, you know, do nearly as good. They're lower level than my ranged assassins, so you can't expect quite as much out of them. But hopefully with Lunette being able to shut down guns and all that nonsense that she can do, our Aversa and our Kalidus should be able to go to town here. So our Aversa assassin now does six damage in melee, not four like before. Which should hopefully be pretty spicy. And then... Uh, I don't think I got anything else on him, but on the Kalidus, I gave her a new armor, so she now has, as you can see here, crazy movement range. She has seven natural movement range. I gave her... I think it also gives her the chance to gain an AP back when she attacks someone out of Polymorphous. Which is also pretty dope. And she also... I don't remember. It's something to do with autos. Here we go, yeah, first strike. 75% chance to get a first strike when an enemy moves within one turn of her. So I'm hoping to combine this with polymorph polymorphine, and it should get a lot of automatic hits on the enemy kind of thing. We'll see. We'll see. There we go, we detect them. So I can kill the Blight Hauler extremely easily with the Kalidus Assassin. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a thing. That's beautiful. Now she only gets one auto, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Whoa. What the fuck's going on there? Ready to kill on your command. So I could Reign of Confusion here to disable all their guns. Uh, and then I could, but also I could just use Chant of the Remorseless Fist, right? That would probably be a little bit simpler. Yes, Commander. Like all the assassins, she's immune to basically being auto attacked. Which is pretty cool. Um, what are we gonna do then? I mean, I, I guess I have to kill this fool, don't I? Add one stun. Let's initiate here with our Kalidus. Yes, 
We do need those red seeds, to be fair. Did the Aversa Assassin pick up the Extractor still? He does still have the Extractor. Yeah, that's nice. We'll have a bit of that then, I think. Very cool. Uh, I should have used the poison blades on her first. Whoops. Oh well. It'll be fine. Standing ready. Hopefully we can get some crits off. No, apparently not. Oh well. I can kill that with my... Well, I could move in and kill it with the Aversa, or I could just kill it with a Bolter Shot. Right, hold on. If I move him here... Move you down here. Oh, no, I should have used that already. Whoops. Oh, forget it, forget it, forget it. Just kill it with the Versa. The Apothecary, unfortunately, is going to hit full cover, but the Interceptor will then trigger its 5 damage. Yay! I've got a seed. I should have extracted the seed from the other one, that was a mistake. Whoops. Wait, he didn't attack? Oh, because I literally just chopped his arm off. Hilarious. Yes. Brilliant. Wow. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to do rather well here with our little melee spam. I kind of messed up that initial engagement and we still slaughtered them. I want to get the kill with the Aversa. No, the Kalidus actually, she's the lowest level, isn't she? And I guess just keep advancing. So where are the rest of the purifiers? There's one... Oh man, feels like they're miles away. Okay, one over here, so we go like what? We have to go across these bridges, grab this, and then left. Is there all over this side? Not really. Oh, uh, they're all on the other side. Okay, cool. So that's fairly linear then. Except from that one, which we'll ignore. We'll ignore that one. We're just going to go up as one would expect. Let the Kalidus get that kill and then move on. Temple Kalidus at your service. Kneel and be judged. Beautiful. We've cleared the area. Now, technically, I should have moved the rest of my guys up first. Could have had the Aversa and the Apothecary way further up. How does Lunette open doors? Okay, fair enough. She just touches them with Bionics and they blow up apparently, okay. Cool story, girl. Latent warp energy detected. Yep. Predictable. Yes, Commander. They're coming in my direction. They seem to just be chilling. End the turn there. We want to move together. 
All right, so they're getting some reinforcements and that thing's getting depurified. I guess we could change our efforts to go down that way first then. Where's the other one? Oh, it's right in front of us. It's literally right there. I see. Interestingly, you can't purify it for some reason. I don't know why that is. Oh, maybe because I'm on the Calidus. Yeah, Lunette can still purify it. Well, we'll focus on that one. I feel like if I walk forward here, though, it's going to trigger this patrol. Which might not be that big of a yes, deal. Commander. We'll see. Either way, we're going to enter Polymorphine. I'm going to move the Calidus up this way to scout. No, I'm not. I'm going to move her down this way. Let Lunette and, and Co. deal with the, the units up top. Okay, there's another patrol down there, so we could get a bit of a pincer attack going on us here. We might want to be a little bit cautious. In fact, yeah, let's play this real safe. I'm going to loop back around and go down the way. Do I? Nah, fuck it. We've got an Aversa Assassin. What am I talking about? The optimal path. Drawn by my cleaner? Well, that's a little bit spooky. Enemies of the machine. Do we have the ability to turn them off? We don't for another turn. Okay. Well, that's concerning. Not really in range of anyone either. Right. At your command. Yes. Might be the best thing to just back off from this situation. Let's have a look. I'm wondering if the armor from Killing Rampage is permanent, or if it's just for one turn. Yeah, it says while active, so I assume it's only for one turn. We've got a crack grenade boy over here. Cogitating. Hmm. I don't really have a good area to hit anyone from, to be honest. Which is kind of awkward. How is that not cover here? Weird. Firing vector clear. The noxious blight bringer. Lots of terminators now, aren't there? Jeez. Melter and crack grenade. And uh, what's that? Just bolter. Yeah, bolter. But he does have plus one damage, plus one armor. Unleash me. He's a strong boy. Could use torpor here. My inability to shoot them properly is kind of annoying me.
Yes, Commander. Little bit concerned about being hit by a frag grenade. I'll just move to here. Do we use Torpor? I'm actually going to experiment. I want to see if this affects these guys down here. Oh wow, it does. That's actually amazing. Wow, Kalidus Assassin. You're kind of bonkers, gal. Seriously. Immobilizing Agony. Inflict Immobilize. On a four turn cooldown. Wow. Man. All right, good to experiment. We heard you coming. We don't know what's going to come out of the portal. Wow, I didn't expect that to just blow up all the cover. It's kind of lame. What's he doing now? Hmm, I don't know. Alright. I'm gonna warp speed the Aversa. And we gotta go crazy. Oh, they didn't actually move up, so she didn't attack. Interesting. Warp speed. Wait. No, no, they blew up the bridge? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Oh, what? What a joke. Oh, that's unbelievable. What the fuck, man? They blew up the bridge. What a piss take. Okay, well these aren't psy um, psychic abilities, so this doesn't really matter then. Let's just disable both of their attacks. And then we melee down the other two. Disgusting. Ridiculous, indeed. Friends on. Now, I don't get the guaranteed parry anymore because I changed my weapon. So that's something to consider. Incapacitated. Hmm. 3 HP lost there. Fuck it.
Oh, I should have done that in a second. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, Lunette. I want you to now... There's not really much else you can hit from here, is there? No. Just sanctify that then. And then shoot... Wait, why can you not shoot him? What's that all about? This guy will literally die to bleed. And he can only melee attack. But I don't heal unless I get the kill in melee, which is kind of lame. Wow, really? I can't hit him either? What the fuck? What's that all about? <laughs> oh, I screwed this up big time. this fella with the interceptor. I've claimed the seed. A suboptimal decision. Now as for the Calidus, uh, I don't really think there's too much I can do to be honest. All these are gonna cancel polymorphine. Like, you can do that, you can do Rain of Confusion, but I want to set that up, you know? We can use this, that doesn't cancel the uh, Polymorphine, it's infinite. So why not, I guess? And then just have her wait for the enemy and then it can activate an ambush. Alright. <laughs> That's amazing, all the free hits that she gets. Can't be stunned for free turns, okay. Area four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hmm. Triggers some more of them. They get a free move, really? Lame. Reign of Confusion. So unfortunately, one of them resisted that, which is annoying. But you can be killed by some blades. Do I stay in melee with him? Probably not. At least I'm not sure how much of a choice I have actually. That might have been a bit optimistic. My blade is yours. Fall. Nice crit. Another 
we'll get the kill with the Aversa to level him to heal him even. rotate this a little bit so if I go over here Must I? man I can never get good line of sight with this fucking gun for some reason why it's very annoying Still got the ranged weapon disabled for another turn. Um, hmm. Oh, but they're vulnerable. So they're taking 8 damage. Okay, so we use the stims for AP here. And then we can actually kill this fucker. Because we're doing 8 damage. That's when the Aversa actually feels like an Aversa. Tearing through my opponents. There we go. Pretty good. Unfortunately, the Apothecary not really proving very helpful right now. Thanks to that bridge destruction. Lame. Might as well go heal the Interceptor. Gratitude. Question is, what we're going to do with this Kalidus? I think I'll just have her reload, because there's really nothing else she can do. Ammunition restored. Ready to kill on your command. Spewer, ranged bolter, ranged bolter. This thing's gonna blow up in like a turn. I'm not gonna get down to it, am I? The, the question for me is if I stay in melee with this guy or not. It's hard to know. You know, the Plague Knife will only do free damage, but the thing is that these guys can shoot me too, and they have 11 HP. So, no, I can't. I gotta, I gotta flee. If you want to lob a crack grenade at the Apothecary, then feel free. Other than that, I think now we actually need to hurry up and just advance forward. Because I don't think we can get through the spirit fire. Okay. Fucking crack grenades, man. Oh, she's dead. Nice. Brilliant. Well, there goes the Kalidus Assassin. That was a fuck up. Um, guess I got a bit too bold with her. Wow, Lunette got super badly hurt there as well. Man, I underestimated the power of that box blowing up. Man. Can just never get a clean victory in these missions, can I? Fucking hell. Now that's exploding. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear.
That's not good. That's really actually quite bad, guys. Um, I mean... Yeah. Ready yeah. Fire. What is your will? It's a rather bad one. What? Why are you not? Oh, that's teleport strike. I see. I need to think about the best way to deal with this. Unleash me. Ready. Yes, Commander. Dude, how much damage is that doing? That's doing it because he's still vulnerable. Huh. Let's go with the Aversa. It is killing time. So I get the armor for every kill here. Mm -hmm. It's just a Bolter Marine. Is that the Melter Marine? Yeah. Why can I not hit anyone? What the fuck? What's that all about, man? Operational efficiency increased. Costing us a lot of willpower. God damn it. See them fall, brothers. Praise the Emperor. Moving swiftly. Feel my No support fire? Can only use that so many times per turn or something? Both gonna get fucking plagued. Naturally, he can avoid it. I'll take the kill. Take the kill for the plague, sure. Bang. More armor. 
So, I'm assuming this armor isn't permanent, though. We'll find out, I guess. If it is permanent, then it makes the Aversa Assassin absolutely crazy. Otherwise, not so much. This is going to be really tough now that we lost the Calidus. Hmm. Oh, he got a lot of armor back. What? Wow, really? That's kind of insane. Is it not? Is this not insane? To get six armor back? Can I shoot from here? No, of course not. Yeah, just get rid of the plague for now. If you'd be so kind. It will be done. Death to the Then the Aversa can kill him. You need to reload anyway. I'm guessing the killing frenzy thing is still active. Yeah. I don't really understand this. Killing rampage. How does it end? Deactivate killing rampage. What? Oh fuck, every turn we lose 2 HP. Urgh. 2 maximum HP. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ah. Wait, so when I end the Killing Rampage, does that take away all my shields? That's, like, the most important question. Hmm. And that is kind of a really important question. Well, we'll find out in a minute, then. After we kill this guy, we'll end it. See what happens. Oh, no, we won't, because I've run out of AP. Oh. I stand corrected. Um. Deactivate. Yeah, you lose all the shields. Ugh! But you obviously don't get the health back. Okay. Okay, the more you learn, eh? Um, that's concerning. Because now his max HP is rather low. How many turns do we have to get over there? Three turns. Okay, that can be done, I think. I think that can be done. Yes, Commander. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> Losing my Calidus was sloppy and lame. It's the thing with the assassins, you only get one chance with them. They're super strong, but if you lose them, they're gone. Which I suppose is a cool way to balance it. I got cocky as well, I said at the start, we sh we're gonna... We're setting ourselves up for an opportunity here to be hit by multiple mobs at the same time. And I shouldn't do it, and then I was like, ah, fuck it, we'll be alright, we've got two assassins. So that was entirely my fault, to be fair. Can't really argue with that. Can I activate this, please?
Your armor, your flesh will fail. Kinda need willpower right now on this guy too. So I'm gonna bleed this guy. More bleed. Oh, I forgot he's plagued. What a prick. Okay, well, we're going to get here in time, so that's something. That far off purifier on the right-hand side, we've got basically no chance of purifying if that procs, so we're just going to ignore that. We just have to get the rest. Yeah, there's only one more anyway, so we just need to get this one over here. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, Yeah, we're going to need to kill you with the Aversa for sure. Gonna heal him with that plague as well. The killing rampage is a is a pretty cool concept for sure, but you clearly need to be careful about how you use it. Ready. Certainly, like the if you've got a big finale fight, it would be great. You know, just going crazy, but then if you've got downtime, it's not so good because the armor's going to get wasted and you're just going to keep losing 2 max HP every single turn. Yes. You know, that would be pretty concerning. But it's also good in a pinch. I mean, made him pretty crazy in that fight. Environmental objects are always the death of me, that's what I'm noticing. It's always fucking environmental objects and fighting multiple mobs at once as well, of course. That's the other thing. They should get another reinforcements, I think. Really? Minus one ammo for the remainder of combat? Jeez. Okay. That's fine. We're not going after that one. There's even a juicy Archaeotech cache here. We'll grab that. 
It's free. We like free things. Oh, I'm salty about wasting free requisition on the Calidus. The other thing is the XP. She's going to come in at a low level as well. But what can you do? Fucked it up. I need to not be so cocky. Taking ridiculous fights for no reason. Sometimes you just gotta play pay the oh my god. Play the patient game or pay the price. And I certainly paid the price. Uh, patrol here, reinforcements coming out, gonna walk over. Should be able to just bum rush this patrol relatively easily. Let's get Lunette nice and close. Or maybe the mission even ends when Lunette activates this. I don't recall. That's a juicy you patrol. Two seeds as well. My adversary needs to grab those seeds. Enemies have entered sight range. So let's start off with this, uh, then we'll get the kills, then I'll do the purifier at the end, just in case it ends the mission, I want the XP as well. Warp speed. Yes, Commander. Nice. I've pulled a seed from this rod. Ooh, that will crush him. Yeah, go for it. Boom, 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 boom. Doink. I can actually shoot this guy, wow. Uh, that'll leave him with one HP. Which is kind of annoying. Fucking one HP. Oh, Cybolt! Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. And that causes the bleed, I always forget about that. Yeah, the Apothecary Cybolt bleeds. That's handy for sure. So, Satrophine Stims. And then what? What is your will? Need a target. Now I kill. Fuck it, we're going on another killing frenzy. Bleed, bleed, bleed. Bleed. Yeah, describe that, thank you. This is nice, we really needed those seeds actually. That'll make our Kalidus do 5 damage instead of 4. Yeah, there's no bleed on this guy.
Her willpower, whatever. Let's just kill this fool. Skills in combat were formidable. Oh man, it's so annoying. After that initial fight, this mission was easy. It's all because I took on multiple mobs at once, that's the problem. Getting cocky, taking on multiple mobs at once, and getting punished for it. We really need to be patient and not do that again. I mean, it's just completely wasted free requisition right there, and a little bit of XP too. The Calidus wasn't very high level, so it's not like a huge thing, but... Man. Frustrating. Frustrating. The Verse is going to be pretty wounded after that as well, I imagine. Oh, wow, we got a shitload of Dolores Seeds, that's beautiful. Because you need them for basically any damage upgrades that you want. Yeah, he's wounded. Got a nice little promotion. Wow, you can activate your Satrophine Stims now for 4 HP, but it, then you gain 2 AP. That's pretty sweet. And crits now have inflict an additional bleed. That's okay. And the Apothecary and the Tech Priest are not wounded. That's interesting. She got super, 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 super low on HP. I'm really surprised that she isn't wounded. I guess that's not a mechanic. Um, she can't get uh, wounded in the strategic map from her performance in battle. I mean, that's fortunate. God, we didn't want her wounded. That'd be a nightmare. But it is what it is. So, yeah, we've got another excavated world now. There's one more of these. And then after that, I think we get a mission to improve our Dreadnought and Tech Marine. I don't know. We'll go over here for now. Uh, grab some more of these Archaeotech. Not that we need them. We've basically got all the best upgrades that we want. In fact, whilst I'm thinking about it, I'm actually going to go into my Dreadnought and change him again to take the Fist instead of the Glaive. The Glaive was okay, like I, I said before on that really tough uh, spreader mission we had. The Glaive was nice when they got the Shield Boost. The prognosticars are tight. What? Look at the present emergence of the Void Ship, Pious Absolution. Once thought lost in the war, on route to the Tatea set. The timing cannot be coincidental. Spread of this technophage, we can only assume that the enemy has found some means to corrupt it. Oh, maybe this is the the Admic mission then. Oh, 100% it is. 100% it is. Okay, well, that's cool. We want to be going over that way anyway. Destroy the miasmic malignifiers. Storm shield? We don't have a storm shield yet, so that's interesting. A tier 3 Nath. Narsifium. Na na that is Narsifium, right? I think that's how you pronounce it. Interesting. Yep, yeah, we'll definitely want to go over there and do that. <sighs> There's gonna be more bloom though. Um We do wanna complete this mission too. That's killing the Poxus Reaper. Who would we bring to kill the Poxus Reaper? A healthy Interceptor. And a Jessica for sure. Maybe a Librarian? I don't... Nah, not a Librarian. Would you bring a Tech Marine? No, you'd bring an Apothecary and a Purgator to the Classic Squad. I wonder if bringing a Assassin is worthwhile against that. Probably the Aversa Assassin actually would be great. Or the Colexus Assassin actually. Yeah, both of them would be amazing. If I'm bringing the Justicar... Justicar, Interceptor, Apothecary, Colexus Assassin, that will probably stomp it. Because she's so good against demons. He'd be good as well. From what I recall of the Great Unclean one, he's really tanky, but he's not particularly high damage. So just throw an Aversa around it, bleed, just stack up bleed like crazy. That could be very good. And he summons like Nurgling spo uh, Swarms, which I guess you could heal off of as well. 
Both of them could work. But, hang on, Calexus is... Yeah, she's wounded as well. Everyone's fucking wounded right now. Now, my actual squad here isn't, so I could just bring a Purgator instead of the Calexus. It's kind of... The Purgator is... A Silencer Purgator with Astral Aim is kind of like a, a weak version of the Vindicare or the Calexus. I technically could have more damage output than the Vindicare until I get a better upgraded rifle for the Vindicare. Yeah, especially against demons, since I have a silencer that does 5 damage to demons. But ultimately, the Calexus would be the best thing. Especially if I'm bringing a, uh, an Interceptor to, you know... Interceptor just a car, that's a lot of willpower usage, that fuels the Calexus instantly. Makes it do crazy damage. So that should be an easy fight, I just need to not be wounded. I think I can take it with light wounds on my Calexus Assassin, I honestly think she'll be totally fine. The only thing that worries me right now is there's going to be a Bloom spawning as I'm en route. I thought. Maybe there isn't. What the fuck? Oh, here it is. Oh. What have we got? Ektar, your alert has disrupted my essential meditations. We have important tidings. I can already sense Nurgle's corruption. There is something foul at work. There. Curious. We have only just had word from Grandmaster Kai. The prognosticars on Titan. Gonna be honest, guys, I have no idea what's that going on. That very system. They spoke of a black edifice, a vortex of foul malevolence. Preliminary estimation, not with crown. The Eldari Avatar warned me of this. Five charred gates in a putrid orchard. Then the Morbus will come. The Xenos are not to be trusted. The enemy of my enemy, Ektar. I detected no malefic intentions. We should not forget that the Plague God despoiled their home. Commander, let us be clear. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. What are you talking about? What is going on right now? What spawned? This. Ah, uh, yeah, another Chaos Gate. Fuck. It spawned right at the other end of the map. You prick. I think I can get to here and then get back by the looks of it, yeah. No, 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 I can't. Because I, I need to double... The, that because I'm going there but then I have to come back so you double it and then you look at how much it is that's a that's a challenge right there um oh fuck man seeding the bloom Narsifium tier 2 equipment tier 2 equipment might be useful Hmm. Bloom Assault. Bloom Assaults are always difficult. They're very good for XP, though. Win without using grenades. Can bring a Dreadnought along. Everything is over this side. That's in the middle of a warp storm, though. I don't really fancy walking into a warp storm. I guess I have to drive over here and then drive to the left. Um, oh, this is so annoying. We got so close as well. But we're going to have to cancel it. I don't think I can allow a Morbus gate to spawn. There's a Death Guard carry here as well. At least if I go here, we get an easy mission... Dealing with the, the the bloom cedars, and we can actually pick up a tier three nar narcifium as well, which would be pretty cool, and maybe some good kit as well. Um. <sighs> da -da 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 That's requisition. It's no servitors. It's the fuck me. A 
Okay, this could Servitors. Well, that gives us even more reason to do it then. Definitely bring the Collectus on this mission. We learned from last time that these missions are extremely difficult. It's the initial bloom spawn that's really hard to deal with. Crazy high damage from that ship. We'll bring an interceptor just to car. Colexus, Apothecary, that's like the strongest squad. Or maybe a Vindicare. So... Yeah, we're going to go down this way, pick up a requisition from that, then uh, should be easy enough to get an extra force, so that's five requisition. That can pay for the Narsifium and the war gear if we want the war gear. And then we can go over here. So I am going to recruit a Calidus and I'm going to train her on this mission. Calidus. She's only coming in at level three, unfortunately. Now... I got all those red seeds, Dolores seeds, so I can upgrade this now. Yeah. So at least she'll do 5 damage, but we need to be a lot more cautious with her. For sure. Just don't take on multiple pods of enemies at once. It's a really terrible idea. So we can get an extra stratagem slot here. It's going to be 33 days, but it's probably worth it. There's a load of Death Guard fucking spaceships driving around now as well, which is concerning. We never did a Death Guard boarding mission. Kill four enemies with grenades for this one. Four enemies with grenades, so that should be okay. I hate this, that we've got the increased construction speed and I just can't use it because I don't have the servitors for anything. I've just about got enough now. We could go for the meditation chamber. Or we could go for... Wait, commune with the fallen? That won't affect assassins, will it? I don't think. I don't think so. Could improve our gun batteries. We could improve our shield. I think maybe improving the gun batteries would be a good idea, given the amount of Death Guard ships that are driving around the place. At the same time, 50% more XP seems a very good idea. Yeah, no, no, no. We're, we're going to get 50% more XP. We'll take that. Alright, let's give this mission a go. So, kill four enemies with grenades. We need to make sure we're bringing a few grenades. So, we take the Calidus. She's going to be good for XP. We're not going to take the Aversa. We need to get some healing going. Um, who else are we going to bring? The Apothecary and... We can take a librarian. Take a big tanky librarian, Calidus. Probably carry to heal and a purgator. The purgators get the... No, I don't want you, I want the other one. He's got light wounds, but whatever, that'll be fine. I've given up on using incinerators if it's not already obvious. I need to get better grenades. That's, I guess, an option from the equipment slot. Um, loadout wise, what do I want here? I want to give him the better armor. Yeah, this thing. The armor for the servo skulls. There you go. So that gives me free grenades there, and then we can also. Can also take some grenades on this boy. Free grenades, free skulls. I'll do. 
He doesn't need to be super tanky. My tanky guy is actually going to be the librarian, who is going to be wearing... Uh, yeah, this armor. So when the w willpower is zero, he can still spam willpower moves, which is pretty cool. And we give him the... Yeah, the Rod of the Ancients. Boom. Oh yeah, now we've got more of these seeds. We can actually upgrade the Rod of the Ancients to do five damage now, which is really nice. I was quite happy with this already, doing only four damage, but... Yeah, five damage now and instantly activating the Aegis is nice. Now obviously, Librarian Aegis is nowhere near as good as the Justicar Aegis, but that's okay. We can deal with that. We'll give him... Uh, we'll give him the... What will we give him? Hmm. Nah, fuck it. We'll give him the extra willpower. And then you can take the extractor servo skull. Alright, let's see if we can actually train these two up now, because they're lagging behind quite a bit. You've got your silencer to do long range damage. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this out then. Um, we've got a natural gate of infinity. Maybe I want to use some of these. All Knights Purify and Heal 2. All Knights gain plus free armor for five turns. Five turns, man. That's actually really good. That's like the Nurgle buff. Yeah, we're going to take that actually. It's kind of cool. Torpor's pretty great as well. Immobilizing everyone on screen. Assuming they don't proc a resistance, which they very well can do. So I'm actually gonna not commentate this one and fast forward it because it's just a seeding mission. Should be relatively easily. So I'll see you in a bit. He mocks the edifice of our Imperium. This bloom is only one of countless jibes. Praise the Golden Throne.
Yes, come on. I speak true. The foe is. It's not in my. Down now, to the fight. Return position. Okay, shall rust. Rain is beneath me. Ready. I've extracted the seed. Blade is ready. 
No escape! At your command. Get down.
to. Keep your faith! Keep your faith! I've extracted the seed. Seed removed from its host. A single crack can topple the walls of Empire. <laughs> A well-deserved death. What is your will? Another falls to the Knights of Titan! Ha <laughs> ha 
Well, I nearly fucked up again there, because I didn't realise that using the Extractor Skull with the Kalidus Assassin removes its Polymorphine effect, and ended up having a way too far forward, and not polymorphed. But the good thing was that the Gate of Infinity from the Librarian basically saved the day. Now, in terms of gear, what did we get? We got 25% uh, resistance? Nah. We're not buying that. There is actually a tier 2 Storm Bolter here, which could actually be pretty good. Um, it could be upgraded with Dolores Seas to do 6 damage. On an Interceptor, that sounds pretty juicy. Well, really on anyone. On an Apothecary, that sounds pretty juicy. I seem to find myself shooting more often with Apothecaries. Um, and then we got a tier 3 Narsifium, which has incredible crit chance, especially upgraded, and armor break, and deals good damage. Yeah, this is completely um, no-brainer. We'll pick up the Storm Bolter too. We need better Storm Bolters. No doubt about it. Light Wounds on the Purgator and the Librarian, that's fine, and no level ups. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we didn't really kill a lot that mission. There were a lot of heretics, not a lot of particularly high XP yielding enemies. Uh, we'll just make it to the Chaos Gate, assuming that nothing interrupts us or slows us down. We'll just make it in time, so we need to hurry the hell up and get over there. Oh yeah, we encountered the Death Guard here. Alert! Small-scale projectiles launching from the enemy vessel. Torpedoes? Negative. Analysis patterns reveal satellite deployment. Box transmissions detected. What are they casting? Commander, this could be the Dark Tongue. Order your crew to put on their helmets and- Update. Multiple crew stations unresponsive. It's a distraction. The enemy ships maneuvering to attack. Send a strike squad, we've well not done this. Commander. Even I cannot project my psychic powers onto its decks. Ooh, stratagems are disabled in boarding action missions. Interesting. Alright, who are we bringing? We're gonna bring out the big guns. Um... Well, we don't want to get these guys injured, though, before the next mission, so... We can bring one Justicar, I suppose. We'll bring Mifrak Bors. We'll take the Kalidus again. Um, I think we'll take a... Ah, uh, we've got both of the Interceptors here, actually, so yeah, we can do this. Cool. Kalexus has Light Wounds, four days. Ah, oh, we're gonna just miss that, then. Well, whatever. That's fine. She's going to be coming with us next time, anyway. Do we bring a Tech Marine, maybe? Or another Purgator? We can bring a Purgator. So, Interceptor, Calidus, Justicar, Purgator. Hmm. I could just bring a Vindicare instead of the um, Purgator. Yeah, let's just bring the Vindica. I think. Oh, I kind of want the Apothecaries, actually. No, we're going to bring an Apothecary. It's a relatively aggressive kind of composition, but let's do it. So the Justicar gets this armor as usual, so he can spam his uh, honor the chapter.
honestly it doesn't really matter too much what he has in terms of kit. The interceptor should have the usual power armor that we give them. We have this tier 3 power armor. But yeah, until we get more passive equipment that's decent, it's not really relevant. I'd rather just have more silver skulls, so keep that. Make sure to swap the falchions to this thing here, which gives them 6 damage, which is obviously amazing. I actually want to give the upgraded ranged weapon here to the apothecary, because I find myself shooting the most with the apothecary. We've got a bunch more Dolores C, so now that's 6 damage Stormbolter. Very, very strong. My apothecary will be able to do some damage. And we also get the upgraded Narsifium, so now we do 4 damage instead of 3 in melee. And uh, we've got really high crit chance. Wow, you can make it even 5 damage. 5 damage and 30% crit chance. That's actually insane. Yeah, that's really good. Wow. Um, What's going on here? Oh, we don't have the correct armor. That's why we need this armor. Oh, I don't have any purple to make the grenades have even more radius. That's fine. So we get triple grenades, triple... Uh, medical skulls, you're upgraded, you've got all you can get, and you're good to go. No, you're not. Oh my god. I need to give him the Rod of the Ancients. There we go. Now he's good to go. This shouldn't be too hard, you would think, but I don't know how difficult boarding missions are going to be. We're going to find out. And the great thing is that we've got another uninjured Apothecary, another uninjured Justicar, another uninjured Interceptor, which are going to be doing the Chaos Gate mission along with a Calexus Assassin and Inquisitor Vakir. Which, all in all, hopefully is easy enough. So. As do we all, Dominus. Brothers, destroy the cruiser's generators. Destroy the cruiser's generators, I see. Edict will enter a holding pattern while you destroy the Ooh. power supplies. We've got we a limited amount of turns. So mm-hmm. Standing ready. I see. Interesting. Okay. It's a bit of a timed mission then. That is interesting. I wonder, is it a better idea then to split up our forces or not? I really wouldn't have any idea. It'd be helpful to know where the enemy were. That upgraded bolter on the apothecary is going to come in pretty handy, I feel. Where the fuck's the enemies? Okay, they're around the other side of that generator. Fair enough. These things have got 20 HP. 10 turns. Man, they're kind of, you know, they're kind of rushing you there, aren't they? Jeez. Yeah. So they've got a patrol near each of them. I see. Hmm. Oh, enemy reinforcements are unlimited as well. Right, yeah, this is a get in, get out kind of mission. I see. I see. Yeah, but the problem is that we're in... Oh, fuck. They've detected us. I was going to say, the problem is that we're... Reliant on range damage here. Might have been a good idea to bring purgators. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's pew, 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 pew. Well, actually on another chapter. He's got that armor where he will just use HP for willpower if he needs to. Yeah, and then I can reload and then I can kill that next turn. Don't know about the Kalidus Assassin, what's she gonna do? What's this? Is this just a Bile Spewer? Okay, well a Bile Spewer... Not really too scary. Let's just have her hang out down here. 
maybe chop some of them up as they walk past. Uh, other than that, I guess just move closer. Get shooting. Kind of tense, to be fair. Given how fast you have to kill the the uh, these generators. Oh, that blocks line of sight, so you've got to be right up against the edge as well. That's annoying. That's okay, two generators down. Now we've got to remember we don't have the backup of stratagems here. So this really is a race. And the enemy, um, you know, having as much reinforcements as they want basically is a bit, a bit funky. Not sure about that. Now I can immobilize them with her, which might be pretty good. It's going to spew her me. It's all right. I can actually just kill all them with bolters quite easily. Well, especially if I proc the immobilization, certainly. Let's see if we get it, though. Yeah, we did. Beautiful. That's perfect, then. Okay, one down. You can extract that Dolores seed. And then what we can also do is... I've extracted the seed. I can hit that with the, the uh, poison blades. Does it matter? Oh yeah, I should have used the poison blade actually, whoops. Oh well. Whatever, that's fine. They'll die very soon. So what have we got over here? Same shit, Bow Spewer and two Plague Bearers. Can I knock them off? That'd be pretty cool. No, it doesn't appear that I can. Well, we want to be leading with the... the Justica here, don't we? Kind of tense, man, with the, the timer. I'm not really liking this. To be honest. They've been very, very slow to attack me, which is annoying, because we don't have time. Hmm. Alright, whatever. Where's their reinforcements coming from? They just spawn here. Interesting. Ready to kill on your command. 
The purest venom. <laughs> A just end. No reprieve! At your service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Certainly. Gliding through the Oh, I got no ammo. Weapon rearmed. Where is the Emperor? Yeah, we'll run through here, whatever. He's going to be my tank. I want you to move up. Yes, sir. Can I shoot from here? No. I'll shoot him. That's kind of lame, actually. What I want to do is I want to fra frag grenade. I'm kind of hoping that will knock the plague bearers off the map. Let's see. Do 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 do. Uh, knocked one of them off. Cool. That's good enough. Oh, and now I can shoot him, actually. Yeah, beautiful. That'll... that'll do perfectly. The interceptor support fire should finish him off, then. Mm hmm So, to the unworthy. Plague. What can you do? Pussy plague bearer. Oh man, that's a lot of reinforcements coming through here. What the fuck? Your command? As you command. Sanctified my rounds. Hmm, not sure about that. See, we can run around the side there, but... Temple Calidus, at your service. I don't know. As you wish. Yeah, we'll move these guys through the middle here. I wonder if I can... I automatically extract as soon as I kill the generator. Okay, now they're moving back, which is a bit weird. I guess they're just patrolling in a circle. Hmm. Interesting. Oh 
Oh my god, look how fucking many Plague Marines there are. That is a lot of Plague Marines. I wish I had my apothecary here to grenade these fools. Because that's a lot. That is a lot right there. Um... Oh, what are we going to do about that? I mean, there's only one melter all the way over here, but everything else, man, that's a lot of bolters. Jeez. Do I, like, barrel through these and hope that some of them get knocked off the map? I mean, they they, they could. My boy here is very tanky. I'm going to do it. Yep. See ya. Fucking pussies. Pussy all. Uh, the Kalidus is a little bit far back here, unfortunately, but what can you do? It'd have been very nice to get her in here and rain of confusion them. That would have been beautiful, actually. Been a bit optimistic. They could output a lot of damage right now. That should be all right, I think. Let's get the apothecary using that super bottle that he just got. I mean, ultimately, I've got to remember all we need to do here is kill the generator, right? We don't need to kill all these guys, so. I should have actually healed my just go. So he doesn't have that plague anymore. Alright, they're running through the middle here, that's fine, so they're not actually going to be able to hit anyone. <laughs> the Kalidus can shut down all these guns. She can technically shut down those guns as well, I don't know which should be better. Maybe shut down them, and then leg it. We'll see. Really? No heal abilities? Seems a bit BS. Well, we only need to kill one more generator. Yes, they're down to a single generator now. Hmm, how do we want to do this? What is your will? My blade is yours. Oh, I forgot he can keep um giving willpower. Even when he's at zero, yes, which is on. hilarious. Standing ready. Temple Calidus at your service. Uh, 
I'm not sure. I, like, I can kill this guy. But then what? My blade is ready. Well, that's full cover as well, actually. Yeah, we should be fine. Judgment. Yeah, fuck it. Ball them off the map. I am here to serve. Ball. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, that should be it. We'll get another attack off, but just yes, one more. And yeah, we should be fine. Kind of tricky missions. If I didn't bring Justicar Interceptor combo, I might have been in trouble there. That tier 3 armor on the Justicar is insane. The combination of that armor to spam willpower with HP, bring in Apothecary so you can keep healing him, and then add in the... Um, that rod, that tier 3 rod to constantly give him shields every turn. Pretty insane. Love it. Love that shit. Look at that. Look at that! They don't do anything. Even auto cannons can't hurt him. Beautiful stuff. He's a god among Grey Knights. The charge ability on this map is insane as well, knocking the enemy down the vents. And Terminator armor too is very nice, so I'm not back immune. I could imagine the enemy having some sort of knockback bullshit and it'd be a pain. But yeah, this wasn't too difficult. And the great thing is, any wounds that we've incurred, because I feel like we probably have got some wounds on the Justicar here. Any wounds that we did incur, it doesn't really matter because we've got a, another squad that's actually even better that we're going to be bringing for the um, for the Chaos Gate fight, which we know is going to be very, very challenging. Now, the only thing here is, I don't know if the mission ends immediately upon disabling the generator, or if it takes a while, like the seeding missions, before I can leave. So I'm going to just be a little bit cautious in my approach here. I want to try and get a kill with my grenade. If I can, knock them, knock them down. No, it looks like, for whatever reason, I can't uh, knock both of them down, but... This grenade here should kill this plague bearer. Get a bit of XP on my apothecary. The apothecaries are so much better now. I've got those two war gears as well. It's beautiful. There's a lot of map destruction that can be done, evidently. Yeah, I can't throw out anything over this way for whatever reason. So we'll actually just reload. Right, now we'll we'll just finish this and see if this is instantly the end or if something else happens. 
Got a little bit of XP on the Kalidus here. I don't think it was that much on her. But she did okay. Beautiful. Alright, well that wasn't too bad at all. We actually just got free requisition for that. And... Light wounds on the Justicar, wounds on the Interceptor. Promotion for the Kalidus, thank the Lord above. Hit and run, immediately move to a destination within range 6. Oh, that's cool. So a bit more mobility on her. I mean, I'm, I'm realising that the Kalidus and the Vindicare are very much parallels. And then the Calexus and the Aversa are parallels. And that these two were the more traditional assassins, as you'd expect them. No shields, very, very squishy, but they can just annihilate enemies outright. Um, I think she actually does get a one-shot melee attack later on as well. Um, and then the Aversa and the Calexus can actually tank a lot of damage. Okay. Cool. So now we're here to do the flowering mission. The Chaos Gate needs shutting down. Win the mission without mass crafted ranged weapons. Uh, no thanks. So who are we bringing again? I was considering bringing him, but not while he's wounded. Yeah, we'll just run with the classic, I guess. Calexus Assassin. Eversor. We could bring an Eversaw. Aversa. Um. No, having some range is probably a good idea if I'm bringing Justicar, Interceptor, Apothecary. So bring the Calexus. It's kind of sad because she's so high level. I want to get some XP on others, but this is a really important mission, so... Yeah, let's uh, let's give it a go. I'm not going to activate that, especially for only one requisition. Who cares? Grab the Great Gate of Infinity. So yeah, we don't want the Calidus, we want the Calexus. And we're going to swap you for the other just car that's not injured. And then we've got the other Interceptor that's not injured. And then we've got... Uh, you can keep the same Apothecary because you're not injured anyway. Cool. Cool. So yeah, we need to just swap the weapons around once again. Do 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 do. Medicaid server skull? No, that's not right, is it? Yeah. What? Triple of them. You're good. Rod of the Ancients. Yeah, that's fine. Sacred Incense is always the best thing on her. Imagine if we had Sacred Incense Tier 2 or Tier 3. We'd be in an even better position. But overall, that should be pretty good. Let's give this a go. Hopefully, it's going to be less problematic than the last one we did. I've got to remember, Bloom Spawn can shoot me from very, very far away. But I'm not bringing a injured Purgator that's going to get killed in one shot by the Bloom Spawn this time. And our Calexus is stronger than ever. She's got all the anti-demon damage, so hopefully she can help me rip apart the Bloom Spawn. That's the main threat, the initial Bloom Spawn. Because the enemy will keep teleporting reinforcements in, so... Calamity beckons. The Noctilith crown looms before me. The weight. The weight of its Ektar. Have faith in your power, Inquisitor. The Plague God has no hold over you. No. Not yet. Not nearly. Doesn't sound fun. 
Chaos Gay. I don't think I've ever played on this map. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not recognize it at all. Funny looking Sarlacc pit in the middle. So how do I get around here? I think I have to go around that way up here. I believe that's the only option. Yeah, no, you can't. There's no way to get around that way. All right. Trying to create a little bit of, bit of a climax here. No patrols. Okay. We get the rest of the Grey Knights nice and close to chop up whatever spawns. What you got for me, Nurgle? It's that Plague Champion. Yeah, and a Bolter Marine. I concur, it's nice to do really good damage now as an apothecary. for the Colexus. A little bit annoying that it's feeding her with the XP, but uh, I need to get the kills to get her willpower up. bit more out of the way so a little tough to deal with perhaps move a key over
Oh god, not one of these things. These things end campaigns. Just spawned on its own though, which is a bit odd. Again. Oh no, no again needed. In fact, yeah, let's just kill it with a Kier so the interceptor can move down along with us, even though the interceptor won't get any XP now. We're just gonna keep this thing moving, you know. The enemy is near. Get to that goddamn gate. There we go. Well, it's trees this time. It's not the little um, artillery versions, which is a lot less scary. I've got to admit, a lot less scary. Oh, no. Don't. Don't tell me. No. No. It's doing it again. Literally, the fetid lawnmowers just freeze the game. What the fuck? What is that all about, man? Alright, look, I'm gonna be back when I figure out how to not have it freeze the game. If ever. I mean, what the fuck, dude? Alright, stratagems had to be used, but I think I have done it. I had to use my plus two AP stratagem on the interceptor, and I also had to use the warp charge on the chapter, which cost me four willpower on my fucking just car as well. So, just to kill that stupid drone. It's an actual nightmare. Oh, that's nice. They only got it for one turn this time, not fucking three turns. That's a fair bit more balanced. Plague Champion and a couple of Baltimore Marines, you know what? We're just going to ignore them. I'm going to straight up ignore them. Keep on the chaptering this guy. Yeah, now he's out of willpower, but that's fine. I'm concentrating. Let's move a cure up. Honestly, you probably want to just begin the ritual. No, maybe not. No, that might be a bit keen. Go melee, go melee. I am your Standing ready. And ready. The reload probably is worth the AP loss. Yep, then we can kill it with the Apothecary, and then the Interceptor can move forward and start killing the other things on the other side.
Oh, they got a load of fucking armor now. But if I crit... Then it will kill it instantly anyway. But I've only got a... Small chance to crit. Oh, I can just use that. And then ignore the armor. Armor this. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, and then... Whatever. Let's just get yes, this ritual yes. started. Knights, once I begin the ritual, you must keep the demon force at bay. If I fall, then all is lost. A lot easier when it's these trees and not the artillery bloom spawn. Yeah, sure, bro. Try and kill my Justica. I'd like to see it. Nice to see them have a draining boon, except it doesn't do anything because he uses HP, not willpower. Eleven willpower. Okay. I'm gonna move her forward quite a bit then. In that case. Uh hold on, hold on. So two more attacks for you. Yes. Yeah, just kill it with that. That's fine. Oh, no willpower on him. Whoops. That's a mistake then. Thought I could teleport him forward. Evidently not. That's alright though. Chopping them up. Triple Plague Marines is that? I'm assuming one of them's gonna have Crack and Melter. We're a little bit out of position here. Hmm. Might just move in here anyway, just to... Speed this up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Take that to the face, heal it off, and give me my energy. Willpower. Energy, willpower, you know, same thing.
Be gone. Hmm. Deal with these first or not? Again, just Plague Marines. Relatively easy to deal with. I think I'm not going to bother, if I'm being honest with you. I'm just going to put this guy here. Oh, we need to reload. Well, what I can do is I can blast these guys then. Right? Yeah. Eat that. Knocks them back, does damage to one of them. But now I can get this lady in a beautiful position. To just disintegrate whatever comes out of this. Yeah, he can go sort that Plague Champion out easily. These guys are being very, very cautious with advancing on me, which is lovely for me. Yep, good job. Fucking Nurgle idiots. What's that? Just more basic Plague Marines. Alright, this is easy then. I think he's gonna melt a gun. I'm telling you, I'm gonna obliterate him with my Kalexus. Alright, some mutations. Draining willpower, whatever. More of them coming out this side now. I mean, it, it feels like this is quite an, a not a very defensible position, to be fair, compared to some of the other ones. No, they're all bolters. He's got a bow spewer. I will ignore him then. Who gives a shit? Fucking bow spewer. Like we care about that. be dreading you, I'm sure. I'm sure they will. Because she's got so much willpower, you just don't give a shit about her being right on the front lines, not even in cover. Doesn't even matter. Alright, let's... Um, I really could do with healing him, but there's minimum range. My blade is ever ready. cover one another there. You can go in and actually start hurting this guy, then next turn you've sat onto the chaptering the uh, the interceptor to wipe out whatever's coming out of that hole. And he's got so much armor with the Rod of the Ancients that even a power fist doesn't scare me. Yeah. Pathetic. Plague's a bit annoying because it goes through the shield of the Alexis. It's not a big deal though. I don't know why they keep shooting into cover. They're being very silly. That's good. So far, this is not too troublesome. Draining the Apothecary is a bit annoying. I'll give them that. any damage. Fetid blood drone. Oh.
Man, there's a lot of them, that's for sure. Fucking hell. They're not stopping with their attacks, are they? Rather unrelenting. The pariah is ready. Quickly. I will Goodbye. Goodbye. In death you receive judgment. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just melee this guy down. I want to cure the plague on her. Because she's vulnerable to shit like that. She's only tanky with shields. The Obviously the plague goes through that. Why can I not... What? Oh, this could be a problem, guys. Not let me teleport next to this thing. You know how this thing operates, don't you? I am here to serve. Could freeze my game again. I'm actually so pissed off that this bug is still a thing and they haven't fixed it. I think it's so dumb. I mean, what were they thinking? Whoa. Okay, hooray! It didn't crash my game, it just did a shitload of damage. That's fine. It's better than crashing the fucking game. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, his arm was moving rapid. Okay, that's good. That's a bit further away. It gives us a bit more time. This is now getting a little hectic, you know? Um... Right. Yeah, let's get meleeing. Get healing ourselves here since the apothecary is a mile away. Pure 
long in purity. Yeah, doesn't really matter. I was hoping there was an option for a little bit more damage. again man oh I can't reach damn it oh well. what does panicked do Fear the pariah. I never found out oh they'll move away from combat okay makes sense it's not very good really is it why would I spend two willpower on my collectors to make them do that that doesn't really make any sense to me. Oh well. Mm, we could stun, maybe. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they can't do shit against the Justice Car. It's beautiful. Don't know why he just cast his vulnerable spell after attacking me. Nearly as bad as me. Are we done? Oh, one more turn. Yeah. Just a bit longer, brother knights. Just a bit longer, and we've won. Well, I'm not letting a fetid blow drawn end my run right now. So we've got Gate of Infinity. We might as well use it. Though we also have Torpor. What is your will? I don't know if that like negates the bug or not. So forget it, let's uh, Gate of Infinity over to this thing and make sure it doesn't live and break my fucking campaign. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Goodbye. Hmm, I could just do that. That gives me an extra seed. Yeah. Worth. I don't know if I need blue seeds, but why not? Can the Collectors kill anything before we end? Ah, uh, probably not. Nah, she's too far away. Taking position, Commander. Cool. Well, that wasn't too bad at all, was it? Damn. When you don't bring a dilapidated squad, you know what you're doing. It's it's not too bad. We definitely incur some wounds here, but yeah, we're all good. How Indeed, how dare they, Vakir? Suiciding themselves to try and kill you. It, it is done, Commander. The good. I destroyed the Chaos Gate. That was that was something. Quite a distraction from what I wanted to do, which was hunt the Reaper. But, yeah, we needed to do it. We're going to get some servitors as well. I know I was upgrading the gun batteries. 
Um, we're going to be able to... No, I wasn't actually upgrading the gun batteries, was I? And now that I realize how easy those boarding missions are, I mean, they're relatively easy. As long as you bring the right squad, you're definitely going to need Interceptor and strong Storm Bolters as well. Now that we know how they play, I think getting the gun battery is a lot less needed. Ten of these blue ones, that's very nice. And another tier 2 Storm Bolter. Oh, there's an option for a purifier here. We don't have a purifier yet. But it's only tier 1. Feels bad, man. Do these upgraded knights always come, like, super low level? Like, the rarer classes, or what? Keeper of the Flame. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that'd be great on a purifier. Ha ha ha. Coincidentally. Grenades have more damage, grenades have more range, grenades get more ammo. And just a shitload more HP. Well. Go on then. We'll do it. I'll bite. We got a purifier now. Cool promotions. So... Um, <laughs> what were we working on here? The boon increases crit damage. This is the warp speed. There's endurance, which is resistance. And then there's this, which gives stun to melee attacks, which could be pretty damn helpful. Iron arm. Yeah, that could be cool. There's a lot of really nice upgrades here, actually. Like, four extra HP is really nice. Iron Arm's good. This is good. This is good. Let's take the... I'm going to take the Apothecarian Skull. And I'm going to take... Uh... Mmm... I'm going to take the HP for now. Because I'm unlikely to use Iron Arm until I've actually upgraded it and it's a bit more impactful. Send the Justy Car down here, we can get the extra HP. Permanent plus 4 HP. And the charge ability, yeah let's do that. Sure. Nice, 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 nice. So we can try again now. Try and make it over there, which, you know... Easier said than done. Let's head on over. We might end up having to board that other Death Guard fleet on the way, but we'll see. Take two. As long as there's not a Chaos Skate mission, I'm not too bothered about having to divert. Now we get more XP. Just got some more Servitors as well. So we can... What are we upgrading now? Could upgrade Dreadnought XP. Doesn't seem that valuable. Gun batteries, exterminatus. Or just research speed. I mean, honestly, research speed doesn't seem like a super big priority for me right now. My research speed is pretty damn good. Uh... Now oh, go on then. Might as well get it at some point. I mean, I've already got seven Grim Grim Wars, right, guys? So that means that I'm already at 310% research. If this is only 40% extra here, then it's very mediocre. But if it's a multiplicative bonus, then it's very, very good. And I don't know which type it is, to be honest with you. We need to get better silencers, otherwise our purgation are going to remain kind of crap. So we've got another Tentaris Hive mission. They're easy. Um, what's that? Spreading the bloom. Great. Oh. Not really a whole lot we can do about that. 
No. Just forget that. There's nothing we can do about it. Could technically reach this one in time. It's a bloom assault that allows us to use the dreadnought. Hmm. These last longer, right? 20 days left. 15 days. Oh, not really. They don't last that long at all, actually. Why do they not last so long? So what's the point of them? I don't get it. Like with the zero here, what what's what's going on exactly with this? I don't understand. Oh, stop. I think I actually want to go for this. And then we can go for that. Or that. It doesn't really matter. Like we could go here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Then we'll clear most of the side missions. Obviously we're getting a lot of corruption over here, however, but... There's not really anything I can do about that. Um... Yeah, Bloom Assault could be very handy for a Purifier. Let's have a look at him, Purifier. So, straight away... I would be giving him this armor. The Keeper of the Flame. Now, grenade-based builds would be a lot stronger if I had more fucking grenade buffs. But, what can you do? Like, I need, I need stronger grenades, is the problem. I mean, these grenades do 8 damage, which is insane. But this is just a frag grenade tier 1. If I had more grenades, that'd be even stronger. Or upgraded grenades, but, you know, what can you do? I don't have it. So let's have a look at the actual abilities that a Purifier has. So the Purifier can equip Cyclone and Silencers, Incinerators, and is immune to hazards. Oh, what a shit trait for this dude. Doubles the effect from Augmetics. I'm not going to get Augmetics if he's not going to die. Oh, so he's already down here with the grenade buffs. Okay, oh, well, that's hilarious. That's convenient. That's actually very convenient. So all this guy's grenades do plus two damage and have plus two ammo. Yeah, that's very convenient. <laughs> that works perfectly. Uh, but what else can he do then? So the purifier is the guy that gets buffs to the incinerators. Plus one damage on an incinerator, plus one range. Improved arc. When this knight's ammo kills three or more enemies in a single attack, they gain one AP. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So we can get Astral Aim as well, but that's kind of pointless. You'd only go through here to get the rapid reload. 50% chance of a reload automatically. Flames of Purity. Free extra willpower. Psychic spread attack. Activate to gain plus four damage per... Oh wow, that's crazy increase in, in damage. I assume this is for the incinerator. It must be, right? Yeah, yeah, it looks exactly the same. It is. So yeah, you can really jack up your incinerator with a purifier or cleansing flame inflicts burning in an area psychic attack also has a 25% chance to purge them of buffs but it doesn't stun when you hit an enemy yeah loses the mutations 
all flame afflictions caused by the purifier became become permanent. Okay. Yeah, so it's just purge. Purge can be good, but it's kind of niche. You know, if the enemy gets really lucky and gets some giant buffs, you can you can try and purge them. You see here, if you get buff, if you warp charge it, it would go up to a 100%, 25, 25, 50. You know, that sums to 100, so that would be quite useful uh, in that instance. Otherwise, you can go down the left-hand side, which is a bunch of melee options, so... It's increasing the chance to inflict afflictions. So I guess if you have a weapon that has a high chance of causing some affliction, then it's good. But otherwise, it's kind of useless because you don't cause any affliction just by your basic attack anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see the point in this. I mean, if you want a melee Grey Knight, you go a Librarian, you go a Justicar, you go an Interceptor, you know what I mean? And it has anti-synergy with the grenades, which are relatively long-range AoE weapons themselves. When using a Psychic ability, you gain plus one damage until next turn. Well... Plus one damage per Soul Blaze trigger is pretty cool. The other issue is that he is a non-teleporting power armor melee Grey Knight. So your other two melee Grey Knights, your Librarians and your Justicars, they're in Terminator armor, so they're naturally more defensible. And then the other one in power armor is the Interceptor, but they can teleport. This guy can't do that. So I'm not really digging it. I think I'm going to go down this route and try and get... Um, make him a nice incinerator user and that is actually really interesting because this mission right here no not this mission <laughs> what was the mission that uh, gives you a, a fancy incinerator i swear there was a mission that's a storm bolter is it this no i guess it's one that we're not going to be doing god damn it That's the tier 2 silencer, which is sad. We actually would really like one of them. You don't get anything from them. Uh, I guess I missed it. It must have been last time. Oh, no, it's this one here. Which... Actually, I could make it to, but... It would be... Very, very close. Hmm, hold on. So we, we have a choice here. We either do the Bloom Assault, or I could actually make it to this one. Ooh, 15 Servitors from this, and then the Incinerator that I'm wanting to make the Purifier decent. Hmm. These are easy. So it's 4 Requisition, 15 Servitors. We definitely need the Servitors right now. No question about that. Alternatively, you go over here, you can bring a Dreadnought along. Protect the Sanctified Servitors, so you get five requisitions. You know what? Forget it, that's not that important. I'm going to injure the Dreadnought, which I need for this mission anyway. And... It's only two corruption. I'd rather get the Incinerator. I'm going to be... No, I'm not actually going to be lacking requisitions, am I? Because I'm going to get five requisitions from killing this guy, the great and clean one. And a little bit from taking on the death guard. See, there's a little sliver. It says I can get it. Let's see. Yeah, you see how fast we're constructing here because of this lunette plus 100% construction speed. There's nothing else we can construct in time. The Noctilith crown we're not going to be able to do anything with. Commander, the tech priest has informed me of an anomaly picked up within the warp storms in this... What? Oh, is it this again? The anomaly bullshit. I don't want to be dealing with these warp storm anomalies. Massive 
vessel approaching on attack vector. A disgusting hulk of plague filth. Open fire. Alert. Current ordinance appears ineffective. Commander, you know the answer here. A strike squad of our brothers will make short work of that threat. Alternative. Cannon batteries could be overcharged to pierce this hole. Risk of damage. I mean, they've only got gun batteries level one, right? Is feasible, but absolutely not. That is not a sanctioned use for exterminators. We don't have an exterminator torpedo. Just overcharge the cannons. Okay, drop the gun battery, and we lost the whole integrity, but it's dead. It is here, Agar the Benevolent, Reaper of the Poxus Strain. Has your infernal research unearthed anything of value we might use? Only that it is a great unclean one, and that its history of defilement is long. Its followers dubbed it the Benign Custodian, and the Bountiful Uncle, and it hosts... Data I hadn't finished. The beast is said to govern some sort of host. A million and one beloved nephews? I'm not quite certain what to make of it. Last Lots of nerglings. Repugnant spawn of chaos. Did, did I miss something? Warning. Risk of shipwide infestation imminent. Enacting Gamma Contingency 1217. The Edict Pipeways must be boarded. Emergency. Current servitor stops inadequate. Sending immediate support request on all Adeptus Mechanicus frequencies. What in the blazes is going on? Of all the hosts of chaos, only one has ever vexed this ship in her long and storied history. A great unclean one. I've never known you to balk at her. Not that. The imps. The damned mites. Nerglings? None other. Initiating protocol immediately. <laughs> It's not very impressed with the nugglings, apparently. Again. I don't know what the history is here. But apparently there's some. Anyway. Yeah. We're going to be taking on the Great and Clean One. That'll be the job at the start of the next episode. And that is the Reaper of the Poxus Strain. That will get rid of them. I'm not sure who we're going to be bringing. If we look at the Calexus, she is still injured. Oh, I do know. We're going to be bringing the Aversa Assassin. We're going to bring the Aversa Assassin, an Apothecary, a Justicar, and an Interceptor. Pretty sure Light Wounds won't, won't cause any problems for us. We're just going to rip this big fat demon to pieces in Glorious Melee. I think stacking Bleed on it is going to be pretty brutal for it. I think an Aversa should be very, very helpful here. So we'll see. Yeah, that's going to be at the start of the next episode. Thank you for tuning in, folks. That's going to be all for you, boy, Top. But this time, I am signing out.